Hello YouTube people, let's talk about this cute little edifice watch. First of all, let's get one thing out of the way, it's about the size. There are two sizes, 42mm and 35mm, which is this one. I was afraid that 42mm is going to be too large for me, so I went for 35mm. And at least on the bracelet, I think it is a little bit too small for me. But I am not sure. I went for white face to make this watch a little bit bigger and it kind of works, but I'm not sure. So leave a comment, tell me what you think, how this watch looks on me. Is it too small for me? Because, well, later on when I put it on NATO straps, the size looks okay. On NATO straps, I would say the size looks okay on my hand. So with that out of the way, let's talk about the specs. So very quickly about the specs, I measured this watch myself. So the thickness is 9.7 millimeters. The size of the case is 35 millimeters without the crown. Lug to lug is 41.5 millimeters. So it's pretty small watch. Lug width is 18 millimeters and it has mineral crystal. And because it has screw down crown and screw down back case, it has 100 meters of water resistance. Such a small, tiny, cute watch and it still has a screw down crown, which is wonderful. So about the watch. How is the watch? What are positives? What are negatives about this watch? Well, biggest negative I would say is the bracelet. It sounds cheap, it feels cheap and it's hollow and it pinches here, it's annoying, I hate it, just take it off and throw it away. And why? I will tell you later. And even though the bracelet is bad, I like the clasp. The clasp is pretty good. It's very convenient. It has two micro adjustments and it has double pushers how to unlock this clasp. And it's very easy to open up and close it up. It's very convenient. I like clasps like this, which is very easy to take it off and put it on. Another negative, this watch makes ticking noise. Not so loud, but when I put this watch on a table on a hard surface, I can actually hear this watch ticking. And for me, it's quite annoying and I put this thing into negative points. So how is the loom? Well, it's not great, but it's not terrible either. Sometimes you catch the watch uh, shining, unexpected which is very nice, but it just doesn't last very long. It definitely won't last till the morning, but overall it, it is applied in a very nice way. It doesn't destroy the design and sometimes it shines very nicely. So no positive, no negative. It's pretty, it's okay. So first of all, technical positive points. Uh, the biggest technical positive point of this watch, I would say that it has screw down crown screw down case back and it has 100 meters of water resistance. Such a small watch and still has 100 meters water resistance. It's so good. I like it. Another kind of technical thing I would say, Casio. Casio is known for durability. This watch is very accurate, it's very durable. I have no questions about that. I put that into positive points. And not so obvious positive points I would say well, first of all, case finishing. This case looks wonderful. Such a nice finishing. So many nice angles. It looks wonderful. This case looks really premium. Looks very good. Another not so obvious positive point about the Switch, and you can't really see that in pictures, probably not in the video either, but I will tell you that the face of the Switch looks very beautiful. It's, it has a very beautiful dial. It has very nice 3D effect when you look at this watch in person. Because these hour markers are pretty thick, these hands have some thickness to them and they are stacked on each other with a little gap. So it adds even more 3D effect. And it has this interesting chaptering with these black dots and overall the face of this watch. It's just, you know, one of those things which is are pretty hard to explain. But when you look at clothes in person, you really start to appreciate how nicely it looks like. And even this date window, it doesn't destroy the overall look. It fits there very nicely. This watch is very pretty. It's a very beautiful watch. So the main point for me of this watch, why I like it so much, because 
it's a very good strap monster because it has short lug distance only 41.5 millimeters short lug distance and it doesn't have colors it plays nicely with any kind of color strap because this face is very universal it doesn't have any striking colors so it plays nicely very much with any strap and i have to apologize i don't really have 18 millimeter straps only 20 millimeter straps but just for show i managed to squeeze in these cheap thin nato straps just to show you how it looks like on different colors and i really like how it looks like on these nato straps and when i put this watch on these nato straps it doesn't look that small anymore and it feels wonderful on the hand such a wonderful little cute strap monster so first of all on this black cheap leather nato strap this white face on black nato strap i think it works wonderfully nice looks very good very pretty elegant as well and it doesn't look that small anymore on the nato strap i like how it looks like on this black really really nice another one which i would put on this watch is this military green nato strap it works very nice with these indexes and and hands because they have green loom and it plays nicely with this with this watch looks really interesting very militaristic i would even say and just for fun on this black and gray strap uh, i would say any watch works very nice with this strap no exception is this one it looks so nice really so nice i like little watches with white faces from now on seriously just look at it such a small little watch and looks so good with this white face and this black gray red it kind of a little it looks a little bit edgy with this watch but it's still pretty nice it's still pretty nice well it's just personal preference i don't know but i like other options a little bit better than this one it still looks pretty good and very striking looking white and black looks very playful very fun with this watch so guys tell me in the comments which strap do you prefer the, the best which you think looks the best with this watch for me personally i i would i would say black black the first one the black one and also just for fun this black and red black and red is also pretty classy well no, not classy but classic looking strap works with a lot of watches as well and this one also looks very playful will look very nice in the summer yeah it's a summer watch with this strap such a nice combo and this is a rubber strap from Casio of 91w in my opinion it doesn't look good because it hugs the lugs you know it widens up right from the lugs and it looks too wide for this watch but from the distance it looks pretty good if i would get narrow rubber strap would look very good with this watch so this is just an example so what are my conclusions well for this price point i'm pretty surprised this watch is very beautiful the face the case everything it looks very premium take this bracelet off and throw it away put it on some kind of leather strap rubber strap nito strap doesn't matter just don't use this original bracelet because it cheapens the overall look of the watch and if you are planning on buying this watch first of all i would say you should consider uh, the size uh, you can see the size of my wrist in the description and you can see in these shots how 35 millimeter version looks on my wrist so you can compare to yourself what size do you really need and overall this is very beautiful watch very durable 100 meters water resistance and really surprisingly nice looking face very good looking dial i am very happy with this little watch so thanks for watching have a nice day goodbye